Hey guys, what's going on? Aaron Bennett here. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of the latest updates with the company of crypto.com. I am still very bullish on most people getting this Ruby card, especially if you have Spotify. And if you don't already have a card or if you want to upgrade, you have until January 18th until the price of these cards go up twice as much CRO. So right now, the Ruby card at the current price of CRO is around $142. So that'll double January. 18th, just a reminder in case you forgot or you still don't have a Ruby card. And remember, they do reimburse you for Spotify for the Ruby card. Getting the higher level cards, they reimburse you for more. And like I've said in other videos, if you don't want to hold the CRO they reimburse you in, you can swap that CRO for Bitcoin, ETH, or just stablecoin and just get out of CRO entirely. All right, so the first story, XRP is being delisted from the app in the US. So effective January 19th, XRP will be delisted and trading suspended from the app in the US. The US-based customers won't be able to deposit XRP into the app as of the 19th. Withdrawal of XRP from the app app will not be affected. So you can still withdraw XRP from your app. You just can't deposit any more into the app. If you have an XRP earn deposit, you will have that XRP unlocked and moved to your crypto wallet on the 29th of this year. So I believe today and the interest will be paid up until this date. So what that means is if you just started a three month stake of XRP, they're going to release that stake or end that stake on the 29th and you can withdraw your XRP anytime after that. So crypto.com will continue to support the Spark token distribution, which is currently set for the first half of 2021. And this is subject to change at Flare's discretion. So that's the update with XRP. We are seeing a huge crash of XRP. Personally, I think that they will bounce back from this. Uh, just to kind of share my thoughts on this a little bit, we've seen Bitcoin many, many times over the years have massive crashes because of a couple bad news. China's going to ban it. The U.S. is going to ban it. All of these hacks, all of these things. And guess what? Bitcoin is still here. So I think that XRP is going to come back. Not financial advice, not telling you to buy the dip. But if you're holding on to bags of XRP, it's going to be a tumultuous ride. But if I had to guess, I do think that XRP is going to recover and Ripple is going to win this lawsuit against the SEC. So another update, Gary Orr, the CTO and co-founder of Crypto.com, launches Particle B. This accelerator will invest in projects building on the crypto.com chain. So Particle B is an accelerator that will incubate DeFi projects built on the Crypto.com chain, as well as the Bitcoin and Ethereum networks. So with the imminent launch of the Crypto.com chain mainnet, there's a clear opportunity to support projects built upon Crypto.com's new and ambitious blockchain. So how I see this is good news for the company. They are moving on, they are continuing to innovate and continuing to come out with new things and try to stay competitive with other companies and other projects. The next story is the the DeFi swap bonus yield $10,000 plus in YFI shared among liquidity providers now until January 10th. A total of 0.5 YFI worth around $12,500 will be shared among liquidity providers during this period. The next story, Crypto.com Christmas Telegram Madness. Join our main Telegram community to win a share of $2,500 in CRO. There will be 100 winners in total. So there's a link in the community dedicated to the contest. You will find a list of tasks, complete the tasks to receive a predefined amount of points. The odds of winning increase when you complete tasks successfully and receive more points. All right. So if you potentially want to win 25 bucks in CRO and you have some time on your hands, go ahead and join the Telegram community. And if you go to crypto.com on the very, very bottom, you can click the Telegram logo and this will bring up their official Telegram community. The next story, the supercharger is going to feature Zalika, which has been pumping a ton. Crypto.com exchange margin trading race leaderboard. So this is really for people who are doing a ton of transaction volume. So the 10 leading traders based on the volume in our current margin trading race, participate and keep up your transaction volume to win up to one Bitcoin total prize pool of five Bitcoin to be won. So if you are doing massive, massive numbers in trading, 
then obviously this is for you. So one thing I do like about it is they are continuing to come out basically with contests and with incentives to get people to be active on their platforms. The next story is introducing the Crypto.com Exchange VIP program. This will reward VIP retail clients to enjoy exclusive trading incentives and perks. The program will commence on January 5th, 2021 for eligible users. So this is for people or institutions doing just a lot of volume again. They are really incentivizing people who do a lot of trading to come on and use their exchange. And they're going to get all of these perks in addition to paying much lower fees for having a sizable percentage of the monthly exchange volume. The next story, API functionality now available for the margin trading on the crypto.com exchange. So this will allow traders to fully integrate margin trading on the exchange with their own products and platforms. The next story is Huobi BTC and Ren BTC are now supported on the DeFi swap. And the final story is the crypto.com pay checkout plugin is now available to Presta Shop merchants. So I've never heard of Presta Shop myself, but apparently over 300,000 shops are online and can now accept crypto payments through crypto.com pay. So one of my criticisms of crypto.com is just how many things they're doing. They're doing crypto.com pay, they're doing the DeFi swap, they're doing all the supercharger, they're doing the exchange, they're trying to be the best at having the best debit card. They have their hands in so many pots. And the thing is, is that could they begin to just fail at everything? There's a possibility, but I think it's much more likely that one of the things they are doing is really going to explode. Or they get acquired by a larger company that already wants a massive user base, which honestly I think is what they're going to do. It seems to me that they're just trying to position themselves to be acquired. They're trying to have their hand in so many things. They're trying to just look as valuable as possible to companies that may want to purchase them. So as the price goes down and down, there are obviously more sellers than buyers. And I'm aware that Crypto.com does dump their tokens on the community. So they are not the best company, especially when you're comparing it to a company like Celsius Network. But I am going to, every month, use my Crypto.com card to get free Spotify and I can add it to free Netflix because I have this 25,000 CRO card and until they start slashing these two things if they start doing that that would really really suck so unless that happens I still think that if you already have a Spotify account right now this card is $145 in CRO and they pay $13 a month for Spotify so that is $156 a year that you are going to get back in CRO every time they charge your card for Spotify. And remember, January 18th, you have about two and a half weeks or so in order for you to lock in a card at a much cheaper, a 50% rate versus after January 18th. Very bullish on the Ruby, but if you want to go Jade Indigo or even higher, there are definitely perks for those cards as well. But the amount of US dollars is getting pretty darn high for the average person, myself included. So Jade Indigo, or Ruby are really my two best bets, unless you definitely like have the funds or you're going to be using a lot of the perks of the higher level cards, including the crypto.com private, the higher interest rates, Amazon Prime, Expedia, and most importantly, you want to be getting a card that gives you 5% back. There are some limitations, but for most things that you purchase, you can get 5% back. So if you spend a lot of money every single month and you do the math and you're like, wow, so for me to invest $16,500, or it's actually less now, it's probably more like $15,000, I will make that money back very soon because of how much money I spend every single month. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to sign up for Webull, get your four free stocks. This four stock giveaway ends the end of this year. And to finish off this video with something kind of funny, there is a gaming computer that uses the power of the processors and the heat that's generated to warm your fried chicken. You can literally cook something or keep it warm while you are gaming. It reminds me of Cartman on South Park when he would play video games and just be screaming at his mom for food. So kind of hilarious. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon and bye for now.